Okay guys, I have one more video I want to get off of my plate for today and that is refilling my Montana marker and replacing the nib. Now, I looked all over the place on the internet for like some kind of tutorial, written directions, there's nothing anywhere. Um, I'm uh, I'm hoping it's that's because it's really easy and self-explanatory, but um, I have this feeling it's going to be messy and complicated. <laughs> I, don't, I thought I would film it because nobody else has. so. I love my Montana markers because they are refillable. Uh, unlike some of the other paint pens where when you use it up, it's not good anymore. These are refillable. I love that. That saves money. Um, after a while, though, the felt tip nib seems to get like clogged up with paint. Um, and right now, this one, like the sides of it, I can like paint with or draw with. But the this part is like, see, there's no, there's not even any paint coming off on it. But if I go here. So I decided that maybe it was time to replace the nib, and I knew you could get nibs, and I got I got some. I got a pack of three. So we have to figure out how to get it out <laughs> and get this open. Dried paint everywhere, and I figured it would be messy. And you know, I didn't put my apron on. I probably should, but I do have one of my painty shirts on. I'm hoping this just pulls out. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. That's gross and, like, clogged up and nasty. <laughs> and I don't know if this is clogged up or not. I guess because I was able to get paint out of it, so it's not. I guess if you needed to, you could probably, you know, wash it out. It's acrylic paint, so you could wash it out with just some soap and water. I'm going to force this in here, this new one. There we go. Seems to be working okay. That actually works much better than the old one. I could tell that it was like all gross inside there because it wasn't moving very well. This is the acrylic refill. You get them in a bottle like this. This is the black, obviously the black. I'm going to need to get some white too. The thing is, there's n I can't see if there's a fill line. Oh wait, what is that? Oh yeah, refill to here, okay. I can't see the fill line because I don't have my reading glasses on. <laughs> you know, as usual, I'm trying to do something without the reading glasses on. All right, I don't have any idea if that's enough or not, or too much because I can't see with all the bubbles in my way. I guess we'll find out. I think it goes the other way, wait. Does it? Yeah. Okay, it's on there really good. Let's put the cap back on. Give it a shake. Put this back on here. And let's see what happens. That already moves better than the old one. The old one would get stuck in there. Now I have black dried paint crumbs all over the place. Oh yeah, it's coming down. So anyway, if you still have to make up your Christmas list and you want to add something to the list, these Montana paint markers are great. They come in different sizes. This is the 15 millimeter, um, which I don't think is the biggest one. I think they make one that's um, bigger. Um, but they come in fine point also, and um, they're really economical because you can refill them. And, you know, you really don't need a lot of them to start out with. You really, um, I only need black and white. I have a lot of colors and in retrospect I probably should have only just stuck with black and white. But that's okay. Oh, see? Oh, that works much better. The old one didn't work. See? Oh, much better. Yay! I fixed it. Alright, so there you go. Refilling your Montana marker. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, it just came to mind. All right, so there you go. Just make sure your lid's twisted back on them right, uh, very tightly. There we go. 
it was kind of not as messy actually as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be messier. Because, <laughs> you know, just with my luck, things are messy. All right. So there you go. Now I need some white refill. All right. I'm going to just save these in case some one of my other ones is all nasty. I got both the nibs and the uh, refill at um, Amazon. They weren't real expensive and they were um, prime shipping, so I didn't pay for shipping. Um, I'm sure they're available other places, but I don't have any place close by that has these. I'd have to go up to San Francisco to Dick Blick, which is a whole hour away uh, and a very anxiety causing drive. Uh, yeah, crowded, especially this time of year. So yeah, it's easier to order them. Anyway, all right, that's it for today. Go out and have a great day. Don't forget to do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. All right, I'll see you all later. Bye.